name's Haley. I um, saw Ava's website that came up, I think, on social media one day. I was looking up diabetes and um, had tried to do my own sort of diet after I was told I was on, that I was type 2. And that when was that that you were told? I think it was about three or four years ago. I was told that by my new GP, the old GP that I was with didn't notice anything. So she said, hey, just go off and um, try and lose a bit of weight, which I tried, didn't work. Went back, my sugars were up a bit more, and she said to me, now, Hayley, you need to go on to medication, metformin. So I did that, um, and cholesterol tablets, which I didn't really want to go on, but I said, look, I've no, she's saying I have no choice, I have to do it. So I did that, and then she took my sugars again, readings a few months later, but they hadn't um, changed, so she kept putting me on more metformin. And then she was about to increase me to the full amount, I think it's a thousand a day, or twice a day. I said, no, I don't want to do this. So I thought, I'm going to try it myself. That was, lo- that was at the start of the first lockdown. And then I tried that without the medication, and I did, the sugars came down a tiny bit, but then it was just so difficult to do my own diet. And then I went back again for my blood sugars just back in September and they'd gone back up again. So she said, no, hey, you need to go on it. And that's it, full stop. That's when I decided I, I'm, I'm going to check your clinic out. And I rang and made the appointment with Emma. Um, but I was nervous because I wasn't sure if, was, was a diet going to work? after me trying lots of other diets over the years and exercise. So since I started with you now, it's been brilliant. It's, it's, I've lost over a stone and a half, I think. And my blood sugars have come down um, significantly, which is great. What were they before you started? I think my fasting blood glucose was about eight or nine. And now they're down to about 5.6. Wow, so they're normal. But should they not go down a bit further, I was thinking maybe? No, that sort of is normal. Of course, they can go down so as further, well. Yeah. But this so is now, you started the 14th of September. Yeah. Now we're 24th of November. And the blood results that I took last week, mm-hmm. which are basically sort of two months, you're two months on the yes. diet. So your HbA1c was what when you started? 57. And now it's 47. So I'm That's delighted. it. Yeah, I'm well delighted. done. So, um, so 57 to 47 basically means that you have dropped from badly controlled type 2 diabetic mm-hmm. to pre-diabetic. And the diet is just, the first few days were, were hard going into ketosis, but then once once I got into it, it was much better, much easier I mean, to do the diet. And I love the soups and I love the, the more energy I have as well, which is brilliant. And uh, when you say more energy, what do you mean? I used to... I used to get tired very easily and ha- have to have a sleep or a nap during the day, after lunch maybe, or after dinner. I didn't have much energy at all. Quite sluggish. Um, I suppose I had a bit of constipation as well, like irritable bowel. So lots of things are going on in there, but that weren't very, very nice. So. And how has the diet changed? What's the dramatic change in the diet that you're doing now compared to before? I probably wouldn't have gone for as much as the cheese products like you have cheese in your some of your recipes um, and then the vegetables like I never would have eaten that many vegetables before. I would have eaten a certain amount but they really do fill you up and I find that great especially if you're if you're hungry during the day you just want something to keep you going do you think you have learned new things oh yeah it's definitely oh sure sure I'm constantly doing different dinners every evening with all your recipes now, I find them great and great flavours. And do you feel that you're more in control now about your diabetes? You feel confident that you could actually reverse this? Definitely, yeah. I keep on, I keep saying that the has not ended yet. So. What do you mean? You thought? Did you think before that it was it was the end? Not the end, but I knew I knew it was going to be initially. I wasn't sure how quick it was going to be. Fingers crossed now that little I can keep going and get it down lower again. And what would you say to somebody who is just newly diagnosed diabetic who's watching this? 
to contact yourself and to follow the diet and listen to Ava and Josette, sorry, and um, just stick with it. Cause it it does, doesn't take long to get into the, the new habit. You were very lucky because your GP told you to lose weight. But do you think people are put quite fast on drugs? Yes. She did tell me, but and then she put me in touch with um, the HSE diet program. I forgot what it's called now. Um, but they like that the food pyramid was the old food pyramid, so it was the diet wasn't wasn't correct. So that's what she, that's all the, that's all she told me, just to go to this place and um, and then exercise. And you looking back now, what do you would have preferred? They would have told you. They, I would have preferred they said that it can be reversed, but they don't know that. They don't seem to know that diet plays a huge part in it. But I think they just they, they just say it can they say probably it can't be reversed or you'll have it for the rest of your life, so you'll have to take your medication. But I've noticed that every time the blood sugar readings change, they just keep putting you on more and more and more medication. So so you feel that maybe more emphasis should be put on this whole other option of changing the diet yes. and trying to reverse it? Yes. Do you find it amazing that this is the way things are at the moment in Ireland? I think it's mad. I, I, don't, I don't understand why um, the doctors are saying this to clients, to patients even. And, why, and it should be more recognised that diet is the way to go. Well, I suppose when you say when you your diet is more, um, they don't obviously know enough about it. But you've been trying to tell everybody about it. Yeah, this is what we are going to do. We are trying to do, and it's wonderful that we have people like yourself who are sharing their story so that we can actually get the message out there. Mm. But there is, there seems to be still a lot of resistance. But obviously, these are the stories. So. Obviously, what I'm hoping that we that you will be able to totally reverse your type two diabetes and get the HPA one C under forty two. So, um, yes, I hope that we can follow your journey next year. Great, yes. Hopefully, now I'll be back to when I was eighteen again. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Well done, and thank you for sharing your story. Okay, thanks, Amy.